now on that disturbing case out of Spalding County where a couple is accused of trying to starve their 10 year old son to death. That boy was found wandering in the neighborhood looking for help, weighing half what a boy his age should weigh. Such a sad story. Tyler and Krista Shinley appeared before a judge this morning for what was supposed to be a bond hearing. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is in Griffin with what happened. It was a quick hearing inside the Spalding County Courthouse with the defendant sitting in front of him. The judge noticed something was missing. Mr. Shinley and Ms. Shinley, are you ready to proceed? Judge Ben Coker said he checked the case file and didn't see an attorney listed for either defendant. What are you doing, Mr. Shinley, to uh, gain representation in this case? I've uh, requested a power of attorney so that I can get uh, funds for uh, private attorney. Tyler Shinley said once he gains access to his funds, he'll have an attorney. His wife, Krista, told the judge she's in the same situation. Until a week and a half ago, according to prosecutors, Tyler and Krista Shinley homeschooled five of their children. One of them, a 10-year-old boy, somehow escaped. A neighbor spotted him wandering down the street. He asked her not to call his parents, so she called 911. The boy weighed 36 pounds, which is about half of what the average 10-year-old old ways. Investigators said it did not appear the parents had withheld food from the other four children in the home. The Shinleys were arrested on several charges, including attempted murder. You have the absolute right to represent yourself. However, um, it's not always advisable to do so. The judge rescheduled the bond hearing for June 12th. In downtown Griffin, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.